That's it, you bastard. You get to die. Fisticuffs! So you're a ball. Your side bags have become punching bags. Yeah, you probably got thought of a better one-liner. Yeah, there was definitely a better one-liner somewhere around there. Come on. <laughs> get off my dad. Is that? It's like an old man say, "Get off my property!" Holy fuck, Duke! This is just like that one time in. Hey, he's gonna betray you! But you goddamn business! He's gonna betray you! He's gonna lock you into the Red Robins while his friends go buy Xbox Ones! Shut the fuck up! Get the fuck out of my yard! Up. <laughs> what? A line from South Park, the episode that has to do with the Xbox Ones and Black Friday and yeah. PS3s. Like I said, dude, it's been forever since I've seen South Park. <laughs> it's pretty recent. <laughs> yeah, I, I could tell. You might enjoy it. Oh, I might. General Graves is down in the generator room, Duke. You have to pass through the tunnels. And it's just like after a while, you know, you've seen so much of Family Guy, you see so much of South Park, it's kind of get a bit, uh, kind of lose interest in it a bit. But yeah. I will, but I will give that episode the benefit of the doubt. Oh, oh, you'll enjoy it. I promise you that. That's where Princess Zucchini is involved. Princess Zucchini. Princess Kenny! <laughs> it's Princess Kenny. But they have a. They put Japanese voice in there and it just sounds like Princess Zucchini. No. <laughs> it's it's quite hilarious. I wonder, when is that freaking South Park Stick of Truth game coming out? I have no <laughs> clue. But they made a joke about it in it, in the episode. South Park, Stick of Truth! Coming out soon! And then you have fucking. <laughs> Butters pop up. Yeah, yeah, and if you believe that, you could have a wiener dangling here for you. <laughs> Fucking butters. <laughs> I don't mean to be a douchebag. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> now all these explosive sex are all over the dam. But this is pretty much the final area of the game. Not the final level, but the final area of the game, because other than that, if we're not inside the dam, we're going to be going underneath it to blow it up. Spoiler alert, we'll, we'll be blowing this up. No, we'll go inside of it, then we'll go underneath it, and then we'll have to fight on top of it. <gasps> Genius! It is. Game of the Year level design by Gearbox Software. I hope they die. What, Gearbox Software? They ruined Duke Nukem. But what about Borderlands 3? They're making a third one? No, but if they did, if you were able to kill Gearbox Software, there won't be a Borderlands tree. You're the soldier, get in there and kill the Alright. You clear out the room, then I'll get you onto the elevator. That'll take you down to the generator room where your general is. I ain't going out there till it's clear. Hey, now hold on! I can't go barging into a combat situation unawares. I don't have a gun. What the hell am I supposed to use? I don't know. Harsh language? Take the freeze ray. It's just a power tool, but Hank and I use it to deep freeze rats in the penstock tunnels all the time. I bet it'd work just as good on those damn aliens. I need bullets, not ice cubes, jerk off. Oh, Duke! Maybe you can help talk some sense into these guys. <laughs> I, I love how he's, he's talking to them. And there's just the two of us here with mm -hmm. so we'll the backup, right? I am the backup. Be careful with that thing. Last time <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Who needs backup? I Do sure shit don't. I'm Duke motherfucking Nukem. I'm gonna freeze your asses. Yeah, I always wonder if you can actually freeze them. To the elevator and down to the generator. That'd be cool if you could. And you try to open the door yourself. See, this is what happens when you give a deadly freeze weapon to employees that probably get minimum wage. <laughs> Dude, this is what happens if you give a freeze weapon These to a psychopathic yeah, asshole who just dies to kill everything. 
Now, I forgot. Does the free freeze way, uh, freeze way, freeze ray actually regenerate its uh, power after a while? Uh, I believe so. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too, but it doesn't matter because you are dead. Yeah, well, shit happens. Yes, it does. Shit does indeed happen. I'm just curious why it's called the Shrink Machine. We'll probably find out sooner or later. The Shrink Machine. <laughs> I'm getting real sick and tired of these loading screens, Eric. I <laughs> Don't you know, I put them in here specifically to torture you. Well, well, it's working. Well, when Sonic 06 comes along, if you're going to show fucking loading screens, These guys don't you can show chance. it for the first part, but other than that, no. No more. Freeze, damn it, freeze! I said freeze. I can't let you do that. You must die. Let go, freeze dude. well. Stay cool, pig boy. Honestly, I would see Duke Duke up just quoting Carl Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze when having that thing. What would he say if it was Mr. Freeze stuff? Let's make let's make a list here. Well, I can name a couple of the quotes. Cool party. Stay cool, bird boy. All right, everybody, <laughs> chill. The Ice Man cometh. <laughs> Seriously, a lot of oh, fucking corny yeah, shit. I still find that is like still one of my favorite sh uh, shows, movies, thingies. Like you like, you like Batman and Robin? Yes, I do. What planet do you live on, sir? The planet of my own goddamn mind. So suck it, dick. I'll never understand what you see in that movie, because all I see is pure darkness. All I see is a child's variation of what the hell goes on in Gotham between Mr. Freeze and everybody. And if no one can understand that, blow me. Well, that's the point of why they put uh, Joel Schumacher in charge of Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, because Tim Burton in Returns made it a bit too dark. So, a bit? Dude, yeah. I had nightmares when I first saw those. That was like, what? Seven? Seven? Well, I don't know when you saw Bat uh, Batman Returns, because Batman Returns came out in 92. 90, dude, I was born in 93. I know. I can't recall what age I was the first time I saw it on VHS. You're, you're less than a year before me. <laughs> if you said you saw it in 92, then... No, I, wrong no, I, 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 no, I can't. <laughs> I was in like a fucking crib at that point. There is hell is no way I could have seen it. It's in Jesus Christ. He, wait, have we, had, have we had this conversation before? I'm pretty sure we had this conversation before. We did a good with 1989 Batman. I like that one. It's just that Returns is interesting because he made it much darker than what it usually is, and that turned the people off of it. So that's why Warner Brothers hired Joel Schumacher to make Batman look like. a bit more marketable. That's good. Good move. Well, Batman Forever wasn't too bad. It's not the best, but at least Batman Forever is better than Batman and Robin. Oh, thank. Yeah, it's much better than Batman and Robin. That's the one with Bane and shit, yeah, right? That no, that's Batman and Robin. Ran off somewhere, what? Don't worry. No, the one with uh, the one with uh, Hulk Bane, as they call him. That's Batman and Robin. Seriously, yeah. Bane. <laughs> Batman Forever is better than Batman and Robin, right? Yeah, we. Batman. Yeah. Batman Forever is the one with uh, Two Face and uh, the Riddler. <laughs> sure. Right. Yes. Here it is. Holy crap! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah, you got Then... Well... Ah, fuck it. 
Yeah, but yeah, blah, 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 blah. My brain. Nah, uh, just fuck it. My head hurts. Don't care anymore. <laughs> All I know is that it was better than that one. We gotta get to those movies eventually. We have to do a damn movie, man. Yeah, but what? <laughs> you know what? What movie's coming out that's a sequel? That has a sequel. I can't think of anything on the top of my head other than the next Hobbit movie that won't come out to the end of this year. There's the Captain America movie. True. But in order for them to enjoy a movie commentary, they need to have the movie themselves. Dude, most people have Captain America. If they don't, they have no souls. Well, not talking about the first one. I thought you were talking about do a commentary on the second one, the Winter Soldier movie that's coming out. No, put it on the first one. The fu you think I'm an idiot? I don't think you're an idiot. I was just questioning your motives when you said, let's My do Captain America. Or an utter retardedness. You should know this by now. All right, so if you want to do a uh, commentary on Captain America, hell, I'll be down for it. I, I like that movie. Puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just made fun of Valve. Yes, I did. I hate Valve puzzles. Making fun of, hey, guess what? Valve. Portal and Valve all together. Yeah, puzzle pretty puzzles. much. Their puzzles are certainly the most interesting ones. This is the one out of the few instances where you actually <laughs> are doing something puzzle related. Don't know why something like that is in here, but I guess just to add something more to the uh, gameplay mechanics, I guess. Yep. Because, uh, God, this is just tedious. Because what you're the trying to do... The music isn't helping. The music makes me feel like this is the most tedious thing that I've ever done in my life. I might as well be playing the Jeopardy theme. Because <laughs> I'm confused. I'm trying to think, uh, what pipes do you have to connect? The ones that move the steam. Alright, well, you got... Well, it looks like you already got it done, so... Because I wasn't too sure. There was this one pipe that was on the wall that was the closest to uh, the turning valve, and I was curious well, if that was... Well, not much the... I could do. I was curious if that was the one that you have to uh, align the pipes in with, so you can, you know, guide the steam, as you said guide whatever is going through those pipes. Yeah. No. Freeze well. And this is Duke Nukem. Oh, man. Freeze, you bastard. I'm gonna break you into a Kit Kat bar. I won't share it with anybody. Get your f uh, fingers off my butterfinger. I'm surprised yep. he hasn't said that once. <laughs> what? I'm surprised he hasn't, hasn't done anything like that once. <laughs> a butterfinger joke. Now I want to see Duke Nukem at, Just for a butterfinger ad. What if, Duke, what if Duke Duke met Butterfinger Ad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think it'd be like? You see him with a fucking rocket launcher and a pig cop going, Get your fucking finger off my Butterfingers, you jackass. As he blows his fucking head off. Then instead of taking a bite into his Butterfinger, he took it into the bite of, of the pig of the. Uh, damn it. <laughs> the finger of the pig cop. <laughs> oh shit. Wrong finger. No, I think he'll still eat it. <laughs> you know what? He's a, he's a sociopath, so you know what? I'm pretty sure he will. Oh. 
Monkeys are coming right for us. Holy shit. <laughs> Did he break himself when he went charging? I think so. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, you're doing the same thing I did, just hitting this doorway. Use that trusty pistol first. It is awesome. Now, if only it was like the Halo 1. Oh, God. God mode activated. Shut no shit. <laughs> that is what you call an overpower pistol. That is what you call the <laughs> mankind's engineer's greatest invention. And greatest weapon. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if the Halo 1 pistol, he Master Chief, when you see him now and again, actually fucking cooking the food with it somehow. He, he ignites his stove's fires with it. <laughs> no, he fires it into a grunt, and the grunt just catches on fire, and you see him with a fucking stick and a marshmallow point. Oh. Uh. Ah, uh, s'mores just like what mom used to make. You don't have a mother. Fuck you. Don't have to free it up. <clears throat> I had right. it. Then you assholes in prison Hail dirt. To the king, baby. Don't worry, we'll get to Halo soon. I hope so. I love Halo. And I love Gears. Well. Halo's the only thing that's going to convince me of getting an Xbox One, so... When the hell is Halo 5 coming out? <laughs> Not a clue! Made you kill your own guy, huh? <laughs> that's pretty much what you did. You, fr you froze him, and his buddy decided to toss in one of their grenades, and... Yeah. The result. Damn, that's a lot of beers. Someone's drinking on the job. Oh look, a dead EDF soldier. Like we haven't seen a million of those already throughout the whole game. Yep. Dude, they're like fucking lemmings at this point. As we quote quote in Demonstrata on the freaking damn top, they weren't even in cover.